Hey fellow collectors, today we'll be taking a look at the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 1 12th scale movie turtles from NECA. I got these figures back in December for my birthday and I'm really excited to have them in my collection. I'm a massive Turtles fan and I grew up watching the original animated TV series that ran from the 80s and the 90s and also those first three Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle movies. I had a fair amount of Turtle figures in my uh, collection when I was growing up. Uh, and I'm not going to lie, I would really like to get the uh, Two Foot Soldiers, the Shredder, and the Splinter that goes with these guys. I would also like to get the comic versions of the Turtles uh, with uh, Shredder, Foot Soldiers, and Rocksteady, and Bebop. You never know, maybe that'll be a future birthday gift um, in the upcoming years. Now... Those particular figures that I was talking about that you do not see here, I will have reference photos at the end of the video. Uh, those reference photos uh, were taken from Toy Arc and Anthony's Customs. They were screenshots. So I want to give a shout out to them. And of course, you can check out the links in the description below to see where I got those photos from. So guys, I really like what NECA did with the packaging here. I love how they have the photo down here, which looks just like the uh, photo on the box uh, for the original movie. It's really cool. And it looks like they're actually using the actual head sculpts for those. Um, these guys do come in a quarter scale uh, version. Uh, and I believe there's also a shredder and a foot soldier in that same style as well. They're very, very large, but they use a very similar uh, box art. Um, the sides, of course, has some really nice photos of the actual figures on one side. And, of course, you have some more shots on the other side. Basically, a headshot and another stance. And then the back has some different photos of the actual figures uh, kind of representing some iconic shots from the original movies there all right guys i'm really excited to get these guys out of the packaging and take a look at them uh, so let's go ahead and get to that all right guys so here they are out of the packaging and first and foremost let's just go ahead and talk about what accessories they come with now the each Come with a piece of pizza, exactly the same pizza, decoed the same way. They each come with a alternative headband put on the back. Uh, of course, they each come with their own individual weapon uh, that's unique to them. And then they all have different hands. So for instance, Raph comes with the slightly closed uh, fist. Donatello comes with the pointing finger fist. Leonardo comes with the open palm, and Michelangelo comes with the thumbs up. Now the cool thing is you can utilize them with any one of the turtles. They're not unique to just the one particular turtle they come with. Now something else I really enjoy about this is that in the original movies, the actors in the suits shared the exact same suit. They just had different paint and different heads. They've done exactly the same in these figures. They all share exactly the same body, legs, feet, but the differences are in the actual painting on them. Um, so the dots are different, the shading is different. Of course, the heads are different uh, with their uh, bandanas being a different color. And the, the other big thing that's different is, of course, how they carry their weapons. Um, as you can see, Raph and Mikey here have more of the unique uh, belt uh, waist buckle there, uh, whereas Leonardo and Donatello have the higher up ones, um, which then allow them to also put their chosen weapons on either the back or on their sides, uh, with Raph having little slits to slide the uh, size into. And it works pretty well. 
Uh, with Mikey's, I believe, and I haven't tried this yet, but it just slides in on the side here um, with that. Something else I want to point out with Michelangelo's uh, weapons is that his nunchucks do have a bendy wire, um, which allow you to maneuver it around so you get a different look. My only worry is that wire may break over time, so I'm not going to do too much with it. Um, but overall, I do like the accessories that come with them. They look really cool, um, and I, I really, really, really am happy to have them in my collection. Um, the articulation is basically what you would expect out of most of these figures. Um, their heads can move around, they move at the shoulders, the elbows, the wrists. Um, they do have kind of a crunch in the upper part, but it is limited a bit by the shell. Um, but it does allow for some movement. The legs do move forward backwards a little bit. Um, they can do the full splits and the knees do bend. Uh, the ankles do go up and down and they have the swivel on them. So you can get some good poses on them. Uh, my leg joints on most of mine, actually all of mine are pretty tight, uh, which is a good and a bad thing at the same time. It's bad because you're afraid that you might break the leg when you're trying to move it around for the first couple times. Uh, but it's good in the fact that if you move them, they do hold their stance. Um, which is what you want. Um, overall, guys, again, I'm really happy to have these guys in my collection. It makes me think of when I was back uh, before my teens um, and watching these guys on the big screen and then later on in the house uh, on VHS. Uh, and it just brings back so many fond memories for me. Anyway, guys, I hope that you enjoyed this quick little um, collector video here. Uh, I always enjoy putting these together for you guys. And as always, please make you sure you subscribe if you're not already subscribed to my channel. Like this video if you like it. Leave a comment if you feel so. Uh, and make sure you click on the bell notification so you get notified whenever I have new content coming out. And as always, guys, stay nerdy.